En el nombre de Jesús recibe fuerza, mujer. En el nombre de Jesús. This woman came up for prayer for years. She suffered arthritis in her knees, severe pain in her back and her legs. That moment, with the prayer of faith, we see how Jesus touches her life. And she is not only saved, but healed and started to walk without her walking device. Praise God. This man was sitting at a step stool here in the whole service. The Holy Spirit revealed that he was backslidden. And when the power of God started to touch the community, he came over to accept and reconcile his life with Christ. The Holy Spirit revealed that he was in a program with Teen Challenge. And that day, he came back to Christ and prayed the prayer of salvation. Praise God. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, you know David Wilkerson? Yeah. David Wilkerson came from Pennsylvania. God says this, there's a ministry over your life and the enemy wanted to kill you. You should have been dead a long time ago. Yeah. And I see, I, I don't, somebody was looking for you to kill you. You had a situation back in the days where they were gonna kill, they were looking to shoot you, to kill you. That's, forgive me for my sins. Wash me with your blood. I come back to you. And there's a purpose for my life. There's a purpose in my life. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Today I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. And I believe that you died in those. This man right here came up for prayer. When we prayed for him, he was instantly healed from severe pain in his stomach area. Also, he was delivered from a spirit of witchcraft that was thrown over him and his family. Praise God. This lady came to the park with her kids, people. not knowing God's that she was prayer. about to have an encounter with God. She, she came up for prayer, the, the Holy Spirit revealed her life, and she gave her life to Christ. Praise God. She is not alone. God is with her. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Kenneth Thompson Healing Ministries, bringing the power of God to cities and nations.